Hi class, for module eight you are drafting your proposals and one of the elements of that proposal is to include um, an image, chart, or graph. Um, and that can be a little tricky to navigate so I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to do that um, and how to navigate Microsoft Word a little bit. Um, so this is a sample paper. It has an image here in the solutions section. Um, and I kind of wanted to walk you through the three elements that are required when you include an image. Um, and then I'll delete these and show you how to put them back in there. So I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so here we are in the solution section. Um, the first element of including an image is the obvious, the image itself. All right, um, that image can come from any number of places. Make sure you have that saved to your computer before you try to put it into your paper. Okay, the second element is right below the image. You have to include a caption. So this one says, Fig 2, for Figure 2, Los Angeles County campaign sign made to encourage the use of reusable bags and let everyone know when the tax is going into action. Okay, so it's about a sentence. Sometimes it's shorter than that. It also includes a citation there. Um, the image came from a website, which means it is the property of somebody else. You must include a citation, otherwise it's plagiarism. Element number three is that you need to include a reference to the figure somewhere within the text nearby. Um, every now and then the image ends up on a separate page from the sentence that refers to it, but they need to be close, no more than a page apart. All right, so this sentence says, also, the flyers could be hung up around the city to encourage reusable bag use and show timelines of when the taxes are going to start, figure two. And then that refers you to the figure to say, here is an example of this thing. All right. I'm going to delete this image and delete that. This is what my paper would have looked like before the image was ever in there. It's just a paragraph. I have left the sentence in that refers to the actual figure. I want my cursor somewhere near that section uh, and I am going to insert a picture from a file. I am working from a Mac, so that's in my home bar, insert picture from file. If you are working from a PC, it looks a little bit different. You probably were in the home tab, but you wanna click on insert and then picture and then from a file. Okay, so picture a file and I want this one my shopping campaign picture all right that looks really funky it is not at all where I want it if I try and drag it places weird things happen all right to fix that I'm gonna go to wrap text instead of in line with text I want this square with the text and once I click that the text will flow neatly around my image. I probably don't want it in the middle of my paper, so I am going to drag this over to the side to try and keep it as neat as possible. Images work a little bit better on the right side than the left side because your text is neatly lined up on that left margin. It is not neatly lined up on the right, and so things can get a little funky. I also need to include a caption. All right, um, so I am going to go back to home uh, and you can insert a text box or you can insert a shape. I really just need a text box. So I am going to say regular and right below the image, I'll make a box about the size I think I need. Okay, I'm gonna put figure two since this is the second figure in this paper and then a description, and I saved my description. Okay, you'll notice when I just started typing, it changed my font, so I'll have to go back up, put this in Times New Roman 12 point font like everything else. And I'm going to include my parenthetical citation at the end to make sure I've cited it. All right. This text box was really slick because it put it in there without any lines or any fill or anything like that. That isn't always the case. All right, sometimes we accidentally end up with something that looks more like a shape. Okay, and maybe your text box has color 
or maybe it has a line around it, right? So here, the text box doesn't actually let me just type in there. I have to right click on it and click add text. So I'm gonna say figure two. Here's my description, my parenthetical. Well, I need all of that text in black. I need it on the left side. I need my font changed. But I also need the box itself to sort of disappear. So I'm going to right click and go to Format Shape, where it says this is the line color. I want no line. This is the fill. I want no fill. OK. And it goes away, right? All you have left is the actual text, which is what I want. Um, once you are pretty comfortable with Microsoft Word, this is not that difficult, but if you're new to it, it can be a little challenging. Um, do your best, ask questions. If you have questions, send me an email. Um, or if you go to one of our campus academic resource centers, learning and tutoring centers, um, those uh, lab people can often help you to navigate some of these things as well.